Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Two. We are back. And we're back. And we're back. I think it's good. All right, guys. How's it looking, guys? Start as if we had never left. But it is episode 91. It's 11:30 ish. You're live on Facebook with us. You set your notifications that way. You know when we go live all the time. And you got a notification that said, oh my God, Rec Tech Grills is live. I've got to watch it. And you're joining us now. Mm -hmm. Today is right. how to make a Rec Tech Easter dinner yeah. or lunch. Um, generally on Easter, I like, a, I like a good, heavy brunch. I had a quandary last night because we got Whoa. people coming over. Sorry, you started off on a word I don't even know. What's a quandary? A quandary? A dilemma? Okay. All right. Sorry. Of epic proportions. I have no clue what I want to make for Easter. I don't like, either. Nothing really sounds great, but nothing really sounds bad. All the ants are coming over, um, so you know you. I want to impress them, of course. Mom and law, mom and laws coming over, uh, trying to get the other family coming over, and I am not sure what I want to cook for Easter either, buddy. But, but if you let us guys, know. yeah, let you, yeah, if you could put in the comment section what you guys are cooking for Easter, that way, Chef uh, Greg and myself can have a we need uh, some ideas. Have an idea. We definitely need some ideas. Uh, for sure. So y'all put that in the comment section right now. Uh, but it is episode 91. Nice. We are nine episodes away from that 100th one, one episode. episode. That's crazy. Guys, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be freaking nuts. Funday Friday is officially a movement. It's a thing now. Uh, we technically kind of made it a thing. It was a thing that Ray grew and he watered and it blossomed into this little thing. And then he was like, here guys, do what you wish with it. And it's turned into this giant King Kong type monster, Godzilla esque, that only the Avengers could take down. Um, shout out the new Avengers movie. Uh, today's <laughs> National Hangout Day, so we're going to be hanging out here at the RecTech Worldwide headquarters in All beautiful Augusta, Georgia. In That's what rain. we're going to be doing. Uh, and it's North Dakota Day. Oh, uh, is yeah. That oh yeah, don't you know? Fargo? Is that Fargo? Or is that South Dakota? Minnesota? <laughs> no, the Minnesota. accent is Minnesota. I've never Fargo is North Dakota. Geography? <laughs> it's a state. Yes, shout out to our friends in North Dakota. The very top of the country. Absolutely, it's very rural. You know, it does take a take. It takes longer than seven business days to get a grill out there usually, uh, just because of how rural most folks are out there. Uh, but a lot of rectech grill owners out in uh, North Dakota. But uh, I wish Matt Lane was nearby. I could ask him for uh, what type of uh, North Dakota sports team there are, and I'm sure there's North Dakota State, uh, which has played the uh, George Southern Eagles. I cannot think of any professional sports team in the Dakotas. There's no professional sports team. There's a lot of college and I'm sure semi-pro. So shout out to you people in North Dakota. If you're in North Dakota, put it in the comments section so we can say hello to you. Ben, if anybody says, hey, we're from North Dakota, right. I want to call their name out, okay, buddy? Got it. Absolutely. Um, but uh, nonetheless, the whole episode of Fun Day Friday gets uploaded into YouTube. Uh, and if you watch that episode on Monday when we upload it, you can learn how to win a Rectech prize pack. Gonna learn you something. You're gonna learn something. But last week's winner for and the reason why we had a winner is because he watched the whole episode. Okay. All right, and he put in the comment section something. Okay, so just watch the whole episode. Uh, we will actually tell you how mm -hmm. you can win a Rectech prize pack. The last week's winner was Mr. Scott Porwick. Good job, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everybody who watches us and subscribes to our YouTube. We really do appreciate that. But Scott's correct answer was 34 minutes and 10 seconds. Nice. It happened. I don't know what it was. Um, we were probably cooking fish about that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, last week, we, you knocked, at, knocked out the park some roasted red snapper. It Actually, you cooked the fish. I, I know, but the you salad. were just like, you, you, were tell, you showed me how to do it. And for I will forever cook fish that way from now on. We'll add, top, top, top. we'll add, we'll probably do some herbs, we'll probably mix it up with some oranges, but I encourage you, I encourage you big time Red to Rose watch Expert. last week's episode because the Red Snapper <laughs> was good, it was really good, was to die for. Now it's not, 
It's not available everywhere. Uh, here in Augusta, it's not available all the time. We caught it at Costco. But you can use that same sort of fish. What are you doing? Like ocean perch? You know, you got some, uh, some Give me some other options, Greg. I mean, what can I physically go fish and get? Ooh, I mean, in North Dakota, I have the slightest clue. Probably some um, walleye? I mean, probably a little big for walleye, but you could do walleye okay. steaks are really good. Uh, you got river, like river fish, like so trout, bass, always good. We talked about doing out there, I'm sure. absolutely uh, crappy and brim. Mm -hmm. Some, some, uh, what do they call them? Uh, bluegills, bluegills. Well, you, all right, with you saying brim, is is that the correct way to pronounce that word? Because my wife, shout out Becky Flanagan, uh, she bought an audio book, and it pronounced the word brine. Ah. So she came to me thinking that I knew positively what the answer was, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. So yeah, so that's, that's what you gotta thing. call a Jordan Johnson that one. You gotta, right? you gotta He's phone a word boy. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Brim. Ah. And guys, when we go off of air here, we always go live on Twitter. So I encourage you to just jump on Twitter uh, after we get off of here and follow our uh, Twitter expert, Jordan Johnson. But last week we also did because of Masters Week. It was an amazing week. We did a lot of cool Super stuff. Super busy. Absolutely. You cooked for a lot of high flutin' folks. Dude, you had some musicians. John, the Mamba on the road, like it was epic. Mamba was out and about. Country <laughs> was there. He helped. Olivia did a great job as my sous chef. Mm -hmm. um, he helped so hard he hurt himself. He did. He got no. Yeah. Country Club's got a flat tire, so please, you guys, show Country Club oh, some love. Send some prayer give, emojis and give the some hearts for Country and wows. Country Club's got a flat tire. He is not holding the camera today. He is not. Flat tire. He is Bad. upset. So uh, you give uh, your thoughts to Chris and Country Club. But Masters Week was incredible. We also did the Green Jacket Salad. It's epic. Um, if you guys do don't know what a Green Jacket Salad, we encourage you to watch mm -hmm. last week's episode on YouTube. Um, but today's menu uh, is, of course, we've been getting a lot of press requests. <laughs> for hams, yep. so we're going to do a glazed ham for you. So you got a meat, a side, and a dessert today in Plymouth. All tonight, yeah, all today. Uh, Chef Greg right now is going to uh, do some scalloped potatoes. Now, Chef Greg, um, so I'm we're also going to do carrot cake. Let me go through the whole menu. We're going to do an Easter ham. We're going to do scalloped potatoes, Chef Greg style, and then we're going to do a carrot cake, Chef Greg style as well. I mean, it's it's easy. Like this yeah, is this question. is like four ingredients. The fans so. actually voted on that carrot cake. Absolutely, absolutely. It was a, uh, was it a Facebook poll? Yes. It was actually a Facebook poll between Easter pie, which I've never had. I was kind of I excited to, to make see. Easter pie. And then uh, carrot cake. But I guess, you know, we, we do what you guys want us to do. I and uh, always watch out for those polls and make sure you vote. Uh, that way, you know, you can see you know, what you want to see done. You could. So we're using a uh, mandolin to get these potatoes nice and even. Amanda who? A mandolin. Oh. You don't, you don't know her? No. A mandolin. Uh-oh. It's actually a mandolin, M-A-N. Not Amanda L one. You gotta be safe yeah. from using a mandolin. Got but, it. Uh, but that is a is that a chef a, a awesome chef tool? So what? it is a fantastic chef tool. It slices things the same thickness. You can also grate and uh, do julienne and all sorts of stuff. Now, so. why is it important, Chef Greg, to slice things in the same thickness? Well, one, they gotta cook even, right? They got to cook evenly. That is one thing uh, when I was growing up uh, in college that I messed up on. I would chop vegetables all willy-nilly, uh, and I would wonder, man, why is this one chewy, and why is this one soggy? So that's, you know, a very good point to make, is always, you know, when you're cutting your vegetables, or you're dicing, or anything like that, make sure everything is the same size. That way it finishes at the same amount of time. Absolutely. And what we'll do is we're just going to layer these potatoes out with a little bit of cream on there, and the starch from the potato is actually going to thicken these. And that's heavy whipping cream. It is. It is the good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with a little bit of a... Uh, Ben's Heifer Dust. Available at rectechgirls.com. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion, yep. paprika. And then a little bit of Colton's Freaking Greek to give us some herby notes. Oh, oh man, that's Ooh. a great And then we smoked this cheese, cheese earlier yeah. in the week. So you just add just a, a little bit of cheese, not a lot. And if you guys follow us on all social media, uh, well, we'll put more, don't worry. <laughs> If you follow us on the social media, you would have seen Chef Greg actually cold smoke this cheese on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We did. We, we set the grill at low. Let it go for about an hour. Now, if your cheese is kind of smaller, it gets soft and starts to, you know, uh, get kind of gushy on you, throw it in the freezer for about a half an hour, get it super cold, and uh, continue to smoke. Now, the age, the, the cheese has to age though. So what you want to do is when you're done smoking it, wrap it up nice and tight in some uh, plastic wrap. Let it sit in the fridge for like a week. All of that flavor is really gonna about a week. Just you want to age. You're doing fat. Okay. And then we're just gonna repeat just a little bit of this. So it's layered. A little bit of that, yeah. And you don't want to go too too heavy because again, it's not like a lasagna That's with right. the cheese. Yeah, you want to. You want that potatoes. cheese to kind of to right. kind of match the cream and the. Uh, and that's it. So we're just going to keep layering it like that and just 
So when you cook uh, or smoked or cold smoked this uh, cheese on low, mm -hmm. uh, the factory settings for low is 180 degrees, right, Chef? Yep. And you could also adjust those settings to get you a little bit lower. You could, in fact. Um, but you chose to actually put uh, an aluminum pan with ice I did. in the grill as well. I did. And what uh, what purpose did that serve? So basically, as the uh, the smoke is circulating around the grill, it's going to hit that pan of ice. That ice is going to pull that air off a little bit, and it's just going to keep that. It's just going to keep that uh, that cheese a little bit cooler. I bet a lot of folks out there really didn't know about that. Now what you could do is take that when it melts. You essentially smoke water. Oh my god, could you freeze that and use that for your cocktail, Chef Greg? You could freeze Woo! that smoked water. Man, I love a good bourbon drink and with put that smoke dice in there. <laughs> and Especially the big ones. If we go to a good restaurant, they give you that big old thing of ice. Uh, but time and tip on this, Chef Brad. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep layering this up, and then we're going to wrap it tight with a little bit of plastic wrap and a little bit of aluminum foil. Wait a second. Plastic wrap and aluminum foil? We are, in fact, because we want to trap that steam in there. Okay. We'll let it go for about 45 to 50 minutes until the potatoes are soft. They won't take it out and crisp everything up and be delicious. And what, uh, did you say the tip? 350. 350. Okay, awesome. And that's also what we're going to cook our ham at uh, after we get the glaze And it's on also it. what we're cooking the carrot cake. What? So we can essentially one grill, do this whole meal on time. Easter. You don't even have to turn the dial or turn the grill up, down, on, or off from your Rectech Grills app. But guys, we're going to go live on Twitter in just a second. We'll be back at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, when we'll, I will make the glaze, and then we'll throw it on that ham, uh, put that bad boy in the grill at the, R, uh, the Bull RT700. Available at RectechGrills.com. We'll see you at the Rectech. Boom! Do-do-do. 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 Do 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 break take smoke dessert. Woo! Hey, we're live! Can you see us? Can you hear us? Let us know. Put it in the comment section. That way we know that you're watching and listening. And, and listening. listening. And you can hear us. The weather is no joke, guys. We were having some technical difficulties, so we really appreciate you staying with us. Uh, but again, this whole episode is going to be uploaded on Monday. Onto YouTube on the Rec Tech Bros YouTube page. Entire episode. Scott Horwick was last week's winner. And a lot of folks are like, what? Scott, did he win something? Scott How did he win something? Well, all Scott did was is he watched the entire episode of Monday Friday from start to finish on YouTube and then he commented something. in the comment section on something. But you have to watch the whole video and the video is actually going to tell you how to win a Rec Tech prize pack. Scott, please reach out to Madeline at RecTechGirls.com. That's spelled Madeline at RecTechGirls.com. My notifications are set, and it just went to my watch saying, Funday Friday is live right now. Very cool. So make sure you, you set your notifications, watches. Set it on there. You can know. You may just be giving stuff away. You, you never may know. just win yourself something. You never, never know. Uh, but this has been how to do a how to create a RecTech Easter dinner or lunch or whatever meal you like. But no Easter is finished and no holiday without dessert, right? Right. So we got to make dessert. Right. So are we going to be baking this in the oven? What temperature are we going to be baking, yeah, baking so, this um, in the oven, Chef? We don't have an oven here. We, we actually don't even have a kitchen here. We have nothing but grills. We got matadors. We got bullseyes. We got trailblazers. We got stampedes. So we got bulls. We got gonna, BFGs. We're going to be doing this cake in a grill. <laughs> Absolutely. But not just any grill. The Bull RT700. Boom. Best grill ever. Flagship. Better than your oven. Why? Because this has an industry leading six year reports. Oh. It's going to cook this cake perfectly. Why? PID technology. It's not going to deviate one degree. That's it. Not one degree. We're going to set it to the right temperature and it's going to sit right there. Is it going to taste smoky? No, it's not going to be in there that long, right, Chef Greg? So, contrary to popular belief, we are cooking with wood the entire time. We're using the ultimate blend pellet, red oak, white oak, and hickory. So that's three eggs, two cups of sugar. Three eggs and two cups of sugar you're starting out with. Yep, and you can use a stand mixer. You can do it by hand, but this makes it easier. So I'll be a little bit loud because this is loud. So we'll turn it off. I'll come over here. So the grill is going to be burning those pellets extremely efficiently. Right. So fuel, the wood, the wood is going to be the, the fuel, right? It's not going to smolder. It's going to burn super clean. It's going to have just a kiss of smoke. And what uh, brand of pellets or, or flavor of pellets are we using, Chef Greg? We're using the ultimate blend red oak, white oak, and hickory, the only pellets I use. Yeah. And those can be found at rectechgrills.com. They can also be found on Amazon, guys. They are prime eligible. So I've got that whipping up. You want to bring it till it's a little bit frothy and lemony. We've got a pound of carrots. We've got some crushed pineapple, some kosher salt, baking soda, 
cups, uh, two and a half cups of flour, some onions, some walnuts, and a cup and a third of vegetable oil. So we'll go ahead and add our oil. Let's go add that pineapple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our salt and soda, add it to the flour. That way it incorporates nicely. Also gonna add in some vanilla extract. It's a tablespoon. Don't worry about it, I measured. Exactly. I'm gonna go downwind for this, a little cinnamon. Now, some people don't put cinnamon in their carrot cake. I like the flavor of it. About a tablespoon. Uh, I don't recommend doing the cinnamon challenge, people. Don't listen to Jordan Johnson. He doesn't know the difference between a snap or a catfish. Is that like, is that like catfish? I don't know. That's a stingy thing. That's those stabby things. Stabby. So we're going to mix the uh, soda and salt in. That way it can incorporate. If you look at this batter, it's looking delicious. I'm going to go ahead and lower the bowl. And we're going to add our carrot in. Carrot now that's real carrots. This is real carrot. Not artificial or pickled. You are correct. Fresh grated carrot. This is one pound of fresh carrots. So those are officially grated. That is the size and how you uh, uh, prep them, correct? Absolutely. We'll raise this up and just give it a little mixy do. Oh. Perfect. Need that spatula. Sorry, Bob. You're good. We'll go downwind again. It's like 30 mile an hour winds out here. So we'll add about half of that. Raise it up, give it a stir, and then we'll add the rest. So you'll add the dry to wet. Yeah, and you don't want to add it all at once, and you don't want to turn this on high, because what's going to happen? <laughs> Flower shower. Flower power. So, looking tasty. And also, we don't want to overwork this. So, just enough to get it mixed. And then when you made the first one, uh, earlier today, we actually tasted this before it went in the Rectech. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Uh, great flavor. Uh, didn't think about adding the cinnamon, but the cinnamon really Makes brought it over the top. Great. I've got two 8 inch square pans. We've sprayed them with uh, non stick spray, a little parchment paper, so you make it come off super easy. Let's go ahead and add our walnuts and raisins. Now, some people will actually coat the raisins in flour what? and then uh, float them in, and that way they don't sink. Oh, so they, they float. That's interesting. <laughs> you never had a floating raisin? No. Nah. Raisins float? I've never actually had raisins uh, or the walnuts uh, in a uh, carrot cake, so this is, I am excited about this. This is, uh, this is some bougie carrot cake, then, I guess. <laughs> All right, so you just want to scrape that off. And again, give that one little scrape in the bowl, yeah, make sure everything, everything is incorporated. So what time and temp are we going to be cooking these 350 carrot 3.50 for right? about 35, 40 minutes. Okay. And we'll just divide this evenly. So how will we know when they're done? So we're going to take a wooden skewer and we're going to insert that into these cakes. And when it comes out clean, you are G to G. Good to go, buddy. So, but we are, once they pull, once they come out, we are going to need to let them rest, uh, cool down before we can put any icing on them, right? Yeah, if you went ahead and put that icing on there when they were screaming hot, it's just going to, uh, going to melt off. But, again, everything. We're not going in the middle here? Okay. Let's do it. Bye bye, bro. Hold real. So there you go. You've got your two 8-inch square cakes, the ham, and the potatoes. One grill, one diabolical Easter meal right there. Right there, one grill, one whole meal. Boom. All cooked at the same temperature. At this, It's me amazing. Country Potatoes country. take about an hour, ham about two hours, and that cake about 35 minutes. But make sure everybody out there, go ahead and give us some heart faces. Country Club, man in the camera right now. Share this. It's got a flat tire. So share this video and caption, we love Country Club, with some heart faces. Well, maybe we won't. You got, got a flat tire. <laughs> That's on. all good. That looks good, Jody. But again, 30, 35 minutes, we'll test that with a wooden skewer. Look at this ham. This one's just about done. We turned that heat down so we wouldn't overcook uh, the ham while we're finishing up Monday Friday. But the color, the aroma coming off of that is just amazing. That is smelling good. Delicious. Looking good. Got a lot Smelly. of ham juice in there. Mm. All right, guys. We'll 
Well, this is wrapping up Monday, Friday. We will be back for segment four. Don't forget, when we go off air here, we'll go live right onto Twitter to our Twitter expert, Jordan Johnson. He'll fill you in on some behind-the-scenes stuff. Good stuff. Uh, when we come back for segment four, uh, which you have to set your notifications for, we're not going to tell you what time we're coming back. Uh, that way, you know when we go live, but we'll be tasting this amazing ham. We'll be tasting these amazing scalloped potatoes and this. And I know the carrot cakes. We're gonna be, be icing some carrot cakes. I know the carrot. Cooked a carrot good. cake on a grill. Who does that? I've already tasted the carrot cake when it's raw. It's good cooked. Stuff. It's gonna be even better. But this was a complete uh, Easter meal for you guys. Make sure you hit the share button, hit the like button, show us some love. We'll see you back. It's Monday, Friday. We'll see you at the rec tech. Heart faces for country club. Woo. Hashtag great for country. Sad faces for country. Hashtag we love country. Flat Tire Country Club. Alright. Do, do, do. Good Friday. Do, do, do. do. Fun Friday. Rick Tech Lifestyle. Carrot cake and scalp potatoes. Glazed ham and Rick Techs. Mm. Nothing better than a good Friday. Don't want to upset. Don't want to upset. Oh. Boss man, Ben Saft. Do, do, do. Right do, by his do, office. You didn't know all of the important decisions. Uh, everything that comes down to the nitty gritty that's on that glassed office right behind us. It's the fishbowl. Our, our fearless leader, in. Ben LaSaft, deals with constant stupid questions from us, uh, constant neglect of equipment, uh, constant debauchery. He's always got to come out of there and crack the whip uh, because it's a circus out there, you know? And, uh, I just want to send a personal thank you to him for keeping this train a rolling. And to Ray and Ron, we love you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. But get out, Chef. I mean, time and temp on this hand. Enough thanking people. So Jody took uh, some Dijon mustard, some brown sugar, honey. Yep. He whooped it up real good. Half a cup of uh, mustard, half a cup honey and a whole cup of brown sugar whooped it up poured it over the ham 350 degrees in the pan basted it every 20 to 30 minutes a about two hours right chef yep fantabulous but you're essentially just heating the ham up guys yep. so you know you heating can... it up caramelizing the exterior and what you're doing now is the most important thing is letting that that juice get all in between the nooks and crannies of that ham and it's gonna and the ham juice like you said naturally is gonna mix with that glaze yeah it's gonna make great sauce that's right so the potatoes here, we made some scalloped potatoes. We took five pounds of white potatoes, sliced them nice and thin on a mandolin. We layered it with some heavy cream, some mm. smoked cheddar that we smoked here in-house. Um, a little bit of heifer dust and freaking Greek. <laughs> layered it up with a little bit of cheese and heavy cream in between each layer. Now this, when it comes out of the oven, is going to be piping hot. Yeah. Honestly, let this sit on the counter for a solid 30, 40 minutes. Everything's going to relax, it's going to tighten up, and it's going to be amazing. And then we smoked some carrot cake. You heard it right. We cooked some carrot cake. On a bowl today. Wait, wait. This, I think, I, all right, Chef, before we go any further, I think this is really no, the I most like important it. thing that we need to um, to tell folks and to teach them about and educate them about mm -hmm. is that we cooked a carrot cake the two in of a grill. Two of them. We didn't use an oven. Nope. Now, what are the what are the negative effects of turning on an oven in your home during the summer? Well, other than the fact that my oven at the house doesn't work, first and foremost, doesn't work. It huh. just doesn't work. Yeah. Um, but our kitchen's pretty small. Greg knows what he signed up for when he bought that house. We did. I didn't complain because I, the, the rule of that was if you're okay with the kitchen, I get an outdoor kitchen. I was like, thumbs up, Julie. We got this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but you heat up your house. Yeah. Is it right? And especially when you don't it's super hot in the summer. Why? You don't want to heat up your house. Why? Cook it on a rec tech. One, it's going to taste way better. So we're burning the ultimate blend pellet. We had the grill set at 350 degrees. Those pellets are going to burn super clean, super efficient. We cooked everything it, here at 350 degrees today. I smell delicious carrot cake. I don't smell smoky pork butt. Although this was cooked right alongside the potatoes in the ham. But we have an icing. We made some cream cheese icing from scratch. And this recipe is on the website as well. Rectechgrills.com. We got a moderator out there. Because I've got the uh, this recipe up there. Put it up last uh, segment. Cool. Oh, awesome. So we whip this up nice and smooth like, and this is not going to be a fancy uh, cake decorating lesson here, but kind of put it in the middle and smooth it out. And if you get any dribble dribble over the side, that's cool. So then take your second piece and always go why top to top, and that way you get a nice, perfect flat top. Ooh, nice. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. That's an awesome chef tip. I know Jordan's over there laughing at us, but 
Uh, I'm not catfish. <laughs> so if you want to know why we're making fun of for catfish, you got to watch Monday Friday last week. Yeah. You have to go to YouTube and watch the fully uploaded episode of Monday Friday. It's hilarious, huh? Um, every episode of Monday Friday is fully uploaded into YouTube, and you actually could win yourself something. So we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch every episode of Monday Friday, especially the most pre- the most recent, uh, because that's when you can win yourself a Rectic Prize Pack. Mondays. And, and if you want to put some pineapple on top or walnuts or whatever, and if you want to get crazy, you can, you know... Decorate the sides, it'll make no difference. But, there we go. There's your carrot cake. That, that cake's looking good, Greg. Yeah, the cake looks amazing, brother. So, okay, we'll right, what you can do good. is just cut a chunk. Go over there. Look at that chunk right there. Cheese and crackers. Right there. I'll get that. Well, what I was going to do is I was going to uh, take you one of these off. Wedding, and wedding, I was going to go like this. Like wedding style. Oh, I'll... I'll eat a cake with Greg wedding style. Mm. That puts some extra icing in my poison. But if I'm going to feed you or you feed me, you're going to go around, I mean, brothers in arms or what? Oh, right yourselves. Uh. <laughs> Video. <laughs> 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 I appreciate it, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a good video. <laughs> was the cake just as good? Well, that cake is amazing. Oh, man. I've never had it with walnuts <laughs> or raisins on the inside. Mm-hmm. That was cooked on a rectangle? That was cooked on a rectangle. We cooked Freak. this cake. We baked this cake in our grill. Yep. Oh, man. So good. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But, wow. There's nothing There's nothing you can't cook in a rectangle. Absolutely not. And this recipe is available at rectanggrills.com. It is live right now with the icing. Mm. Awesome. Mm. The sweetness of the pineapple, the acidity, the walnuts, it's good stuff. A little cinnamon, but... You know, some, some of these, yeah, this is burn your frenulum mm-hmm. scalloped potatoes all day, every day. Put them on a plate. But you can see there's no runny runny. No. So if you, let's flip this around a bit, here look. It'll all bind together. So the longer you let it sit, the more compact and, and good. If you try to dive in the second this comes off the grill, no, it's just it's gonna fall apart. Absolutely. And then the same thing uh, with the ham glaze. And, you know, if you wanna take it off the grill, uh, it's gonna start to thicken up. Uh, Should've put that one right there. The cooler it gets in temperature. <laughs> and then continue to glaze it, you know, while it sits on the counter, while you're you know, waiting for people to get, you know, to the dinner table. But, mm. dude, 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 ooh, 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 frenulum. Is frenulum. it frenulum? Dude, Vernon, yeah. it's not quite paella. But it is, uh, it is definitely over hot pizza. Oh, wow. Just yeah. hush, 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 yeah. hush, chill it. It's definitely <laughs> not quite paella, but it's close. Oh, my God. It's, it's close. Blow on it. It smells so good. That's what I tell uh, my son. Ah! I had to burn my finger. Mm-hmm. Can't do that. Sorry, everybody. It's delicious, though. I like to take the singles and eat them like chips. Mm-hmm. They're a little less hot, but when you get the whole clump together, but all equally of that. delicious. No, it's absolutely delicious. How do we make this one more time, Chef? Man, we took some white potatoes, sliced them really thin on the mandolin, laid them out on the casserole dish, put some heifer dust, some freaking Greek on the top, a little bit of smoked cheddar cheese. We just layered a little bit of heavy cream. Was and it then... cheddar? Yeah. White cheddar? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that was some awesome cheese. But it was actually really awesome because we smoked that on the RT 700 Bulls. But if you follow us on social media, you would have saw Chef Greg do we did that, that on Wednesday. Wednesday. But that cheese is going to taste even better next Monday, next Wednesday, next Friday. So smoke some cheese, let it wrap age. it up, leave it in the fridge, let it sit there for a week or two. It's really going to just mature. It's like a fine wine. Oh, okay. Right. And again, we probably did, I don't know, 10 layers of that all the way up. I mean, I mean, if you're going to do it, just do it big. Just oh. eat the icing. Your icing bowl liquor type guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm an I'm a icing type guy. No doubt. Well, let's try our ham. I guess. Okay. This is not <laughs> friendly and burning. No. This should be kind of... Here, here, here grab, a, grab some. Grab the I don't want to take it. Mm. You don't taste mustard. You don't taste honey. But that is amazing. That's great flavor. It's sweet. It's savory. It reminds you of Easter time. It makes you want to eat more ham. Just gonna dice some eggs. And this is gonna be much better the next day when it's cold on a wine roll. Oh my gosh! And you make yourself 
a Easter ham sandwich. I would put a little bit of mayo, a little gourmet rectangle sauce in there for me, but a little gourmet rectangle barbecue sauce would be awesome. Oh, but that was amazing. But this episode was dedicated to cooking your Rec Tech Easter meal. We Absolutely. really appreciate you guys for joining us. It's episode 91. It's 419. We're getting ready for the weekend. What am I talking about? Uh, Easter, right? Easter. That's what I'm talking about. But don't forget, we have we offer financing at RecTechGirls.com. Make sure you go there and look at the financing tab. There are great options for folks out there looking for financing. Check out the website, RecTechGirls.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom where it says, Be an Insider. You're going to get behind-the-scenes emails, sign up for our newsletter. You're going to get uh, special edition content, maybe some blogs and information, all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, and you'll know all about the secret stuff that happens before everybody else. Don't forget we upload a blog every Wednesday to RecTechGirls.com. Those blogs, uh, the titles and, and, and content vary, absolutely, uh, but they are all very inform informative. Don't forget about After Hours on Wednesdays Wednesday. as well. We, uh, Chef Greg and myself, go live. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, we start a meal and we finish it within an hour. Those cheesesteaks were so good oh last week. Oh my gosh, if you missed last week, make sure you, you, you set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. Um, don't forget Reddit recipes on Thursdays. And follow us on all social media. Why, Chef? Why would you want to follow us on social media? Because you just might see me cook at the house with the kids sausage, peppers, and onions and some pasta last night. You might see you and John Dillon reheated brisket. You're going to learn something. You're going to have fun. And you're going to get to know us kind of uh, a little more intimately as we're at the house. Mm -hmm. Also, where can these people get the recipes? They're asking about them. So. Oh, well, that's obvious. You better go to RecTechGrills.com. The second tab over is going to be recipes. It'll be a drop-down box. This recipe is on the website. This one will be on there shortly, and as well as the ham. And then the glaze is super easy. Half a cup of honey, half a cup of Dijon mustard, whole cup of brown sugar. Mix it together, throw it on there, baste it. 350, two hours, based every 20 minutes, you're going to go guys. Uh, but this has been a great episode. Last week was Masters Week. We had such a great time. You know, we did uh, last week's episode uh, was the uh, Red Snapper. Man, I really encourage you guys to go to YouTube. Check out last week's Fun Day Friday. That Red Snapper was on point. We had a customer call, talk to Aaron just a little bit ago, said the Red Snapper was delicious. Thank you for that. Oh, awesome. So very cool. Buddy. Yeah, we had done that. And then the, the Philly cheesesteaks, we, we did both chicken and beef for after hours. We encourage you to check those out. Guys, thank you so much. Please hit the share button. Please share us with the whole wide world. Do not forget, we go live on Twitter right after Twitter's the live getting, Twitter's getting antsy. Rex is, Rex is wanting the stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thank you to Rex. We love Twitter. Uh, guys, but don't forget, follow us on all social media. Set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. Don't forget, we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Hearts and wild faces for Country Club's flat tire. Hashtag we love Country Club. Come on, everybody. Put show, in there. show how sad he is. Look how sad he is. We love you, Country Club. Do do do. See at the Rec Tech. Do do do. Do do do. Rec Tech.